All right, welcome everybody. Sorry for the technical difficulties we were having, but I believe we are up and running and online. Let's get you caught up on what you're looking at. We are in the first half of the Select 17U white team taking on Northwest Coastal Elite. Select is in white. They are the home team on the scoreboard. There's about two minutes to go here in the first half. Select up 25-19 in their first game of the tournament. We're at Bellevue College. Two courts going at once, so a lot of action. This is primarily where all the 17 new uh, teams will be playing throughout the weekend. Uh, they will bring in an occasional 16 new team as filler or for the tournament bracket on Sunday. But for the most part, Bellevue College is home of the 17 new some of the top teams in the tournament. That free throw makes it a three-point game. Two minutes to play in the first half. Select white coach by Shelby Lindley, assistant coach at the College of Idaho. And about a minute 15 to play in the first half. Select still up three. McAdish no good and Northwest Coastal Elite to push. Get under, up and under. Brings Coastal Elite within one, 50 seconds to play. First half action, game number one for Select White. And now 40 seconds. No go, 30 seconds, and Sand will push for White. White now looking for the last shot. 15 seconds to play. Terashima off the curl. Gets the feed from Akinich. Five seconds to play. And at the buzzer, Northwest Coastal Elite hits the elbow jumper. Looks like they're going to give him a three on that one. So finishing up the first half, we've got a tie ball game, 27-27. Again, first game for all of these teams. This is the first game of the tournament. Appreciate you tuning in. Feel free to tell us where you're watching from. We love seeing those cities and states come out there. Let everybody else know you're tuned in. in the first game for Select White. You can see over here in the corner a bunch of officials. This tournament, uh, the first couple of days, actually doubles as an officials camp for the Pacific Northwest Officials Association. 
They've been doing that for years. A chance for these guys to get some hands-on experience in the summer. Makes for an interesting dynamic for sure, but something we have gotten used to over the years. You can see the support from the other players in the select program out here to cheer on the white team. It is a recruiting period for sure, and you can see all the different colleges out checking out action here at Bellevue College. About 20 coaches in to watch the action. And the second half is underway. Santana's kick, no good on the three-point attempts, and Coastal Elite to push. Three-pointer is good, and that gives Northwest Coastal Elite their first lead of the game, 27-30. Santana can't get the drive to go. Close to lead back on the run. Kern snags the rebound and White will have another shot. Down three, 14-47 to play in the second half. And Musman with the free throw line jumper and now select down one. And that baseline floater puts Coastal Lee back up three. Just over 14 to play in the second half. The Joyce's three point no good, but the follow from Musman brings Select back within one. 31-32, 13-50 to play. Second half. And on the turnover, Select to push. Santana finds the Joyce up the length of the court. And now select back on top, Shot's no good, but it looks like they've got Kern on the foul. They'll send Coastal Elite. Well, they got him on the drive, so baseline out of bounds. Players are given six fouls in most of these NCAA tournaments. It ensures them an opportunity to get some extra playing time. So select attacks down one. Shot doesn't go, but they get a hack on the attempt. Coastal to a line to shoot two. We'll have games going all day long. We've got an entire schedule on our portal.stretchinternet.com slash select basketball page. Following this game, we'll be heading out to 
cover the Maroon 15U team. We'll be back here after that to cover the Black 17U team. And then we will travel out again to cover Orange 17U. And that will wrap up the evening. We'll be back at it again tomorrow with a new lineup, new teams. Santana working it, but he couldn't get it to go. He's finding ways to get to the basket. Just can't get those teardrops to go down. Select retains possession. 12-12 to play in the second half. Down two. Dice into the game. The shot doesn't fall. Kern working inside, but it won't go, and now Coastal to push. Twenty-four to play. Second half. Select down. Thirty-three, thirty-five. Santana from the corner. It's no good. And on the rebound, looks like they've got Kern with the foul again. Five fouls allowed. That bucket, Coastal extends its lead, 33-37, and a chance to push it to five as Justin McInnes checks into the game for Brett Kern. 11-07 to play in the second half. Just a reminder, we're streaming in two different areas. We've got our broadcast on our Stretch Internet photo page, or you can also watch on our Twitter account. If you're looking for video and just want to watch, the Stretch page is a great place to go. If you're looking for a little more interaction and want to comment, then your Twitter account is the best place to have that interaction. Either way is fine with us. We're just glad you're tuning in. Three ball extends Coastal's lead to seven with 10-15 to play in the second half. And White's going to take a timeout. Coach Shelby Lindley Shelby going to talk things over with his guys. And again, appreciate everybody tuning in. If, if you're watching on our Stretch Internet page, you can certainly help us out by sharing the link with any friends or family. 
anyone that you think might be interested in watching. And of course, if you're watching through your Twitter or Periscope account, we'd love a retweet. Likes, comments are great too. We are in Bellevue, Washington for the premier summer showcase. 12 select teams participating this weekend. First tournament of the summer for all teams. First game of the summer for select white. Wrapped up mini camp on Wednesday. We had mini camp at the College of Idaho in Caldwell, Idaho, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Travel day yesterday. About eight hours on a charter bus. Did have a chance to shoot around last night at Seattle Pacific. And now this summer is officially underway. That bucket puts Coastal up 9, 33-42, 9.27 to go in the second half. So like trying to get something going. McIntosh can't get to go. The guys are finding open shots, they just can't get the ball to, to finish. Fifty-nine to play, 33-42, select White down nine in the second half. Now down ten. And that free throw extends the lead to eleven. So select needing to find some way to get things going on the offensive end. Santana tries a deep three, it's not good, but Dykstra with a big save. And White to retain possession.
Strong drive and a left-handed finish makes it a 13-point game with under eight to go in the second half. Sand able to draw the foul on the drive. And Brett Kern checks into the game for Kyler Tereshima. Santana fouled on the drive, so he'll head to the line for two. Trying to break into this lead. 7.35 to play in the second half. Select 33. Coastal 46. Santana's second free throw goes down. 12 point game, 7.32 to play. White has shifted into a zone. Trying to get something going. And that defensive possession paid off. Dice from the corner. Can't get it to go. Postal to push. And Brett Kern called for the foul. That's either four or five on Kern. Just a reminder, you do get six fouls. Santana finishes with the left. That one goes, and it's a 12-point game. 6.33 to play in the second half. Select stays in the zone. Coastal Elite keeps finding this, that middle area. And this time they convert to make it a 14 point game. And Santana able to get to the basket again and draws another foul. They'll get this one on the drive, so baseline out of bounds. The 604 to play in the second half. Select down 14, 36 50. that bucket. White will take another timeout. If you're curious about staying up to date with everything that the select teams are doing, I want to make sure that you check out our Instagram TV channel, which also posts to our Facebook page. We do a daily update show where we cover what we did the day before and what's coming up 
that day. And that includes our broadcast schedule, any interviews that we've done, and we have a few other things in there if you want to see what some of these guys are doing while on the road, where they stay, what they eat, all kinds of little tidbits like that to give you a better feel of what we do all summer long. That's our Instagram, TV, and our Facebook page. You can pretty much find all of them by just searching for Select Basketball USA. And back in the action, Coastal Elite draws the foul up top, but they are going to head to the line now in a bonus situation. Free throw, no good. And select with a chance to cut this thing to 10 or even 9. Santana, no good, but Joyce with another rebound. And on the drive, they get an illegal screen. Now a 12 point game, 521 to play in the second half. Nice drive and extended finish makes it a 14 point game. Under five to play in the second half. LeJoyce called, or called against his defender with the body. Select so still not in the bonus. Sand gets fouled on his baseline drive, and so he'll head to the line. Good for Select. They will have a chance to cut into this lead without any time running off the clock. But with under four and a half to play, they're going to have to get something going on the offensive end, and they're going to need some stops defensively. Select now extending their defense, trying to speed up this tempo, maybe get a few steals and extra possessions. Looks like they got sand on the drive. Close to Elite to shoot two.
Fleck almost comes over the steal, but they're going to get Dykstra on a hold. So that will send Coastal Elite to the line. 3.45 to play, up 14. They are in the double bonus, so they'll be shooting two. That free throw makes it a 15 point game with just over 3.30 to play in the second half. And the Joyce gets the three point bucket to fall. And that was important. It brings the lead down to 12, and more than anything, it can potentially get some momentum going. They call a timeout, they're going to try that. And See if they can get a steal on this possession. In the huddle, we've got Coach Lindley leading his team. Behind him is Coach Michael Johnson. He coaches the select 16U Red team. Next to him in the red is Andy Harrington, coaching the 15U purple team. And on the right, Marcus Graham, coaching the 15U maroon team. We'll catch the maroon team later today. I believe after this game, actually. And back in the action. Select sets up their full court press. And Coastal Elite, calm, cool, and collectively advances the ball. And on the deflection, they'll take it from the sideline. 3.15 to play, 3.16 to play. 41.53, select down 12. Coastal Elite now extending their man or their offense to bring Select out deep. Seem to be content to wind the clock. The Select's intensity picks up on defense. A nice defensive play at the rim. Select with a chance to cut this thing to 10 or less. drop-off. The left-handed layup extends the lead to 14. Two minutes to play in the second half. Santana fouled on the drive and they are now in the bonus. So he had to line to shoot the one and one. 201 to play, 4155 select down 14 to Northwest Coastal Elite.
around that timeout, we've got a 12 point game with under two to play. Big thanks to our game broadcast sponsor, East Bay. Make sure you go to eastbay.com and check out all the gear they've got. Every brand you could possibly imagine. If you are a basketball player, fan, or parent, you'll want to check out eastbay.com for all of their great deals. Always have some really cool stuff on there. Shoes, shorts, tops, workout gear, you name it, they've got it. Thank you, East Bay. Lots of coaches checking out the action here at Bellevue College, lining up the baseline. This is a great tournament for regional recruiting here in the Northwest. So many colleges, it's so easy to get to, and the talent is very good. So a great opportunity for coaches to evaluate, make sure they can see these players going against some good competition. Back in the action, select with the pressure. Almost have its turnover, but Coastal able to get out of it and finish the layup. for a 14 point game. Rejoice gets another three to fall. Makes it an 11 point game. Minute 31 to play. Second half. Hiroshima called for the hand check up top, so post the elite to the line to shoot the double bonus. Free throw makes it a 12 point game. Minute seven to go. White going to have to get on a real roll here. seconds to go. Sand can't get that one to go down. And 30 seconds to play. Coastal Elite will work it up. Looks like Select will play these last 20 seconds straight up. Just a reminder, we'll be going live again in about an hour with our 15U Maroon team with their first game of the tournament. Hope you'll tune in for that one or at least let other people know. Should be a good one, and that's going to bring this one to a close. So first game of the tournament for Select. Uh, they go down to Northwest Coastal Elite, 46-58. We appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you at the next game.